Um, all right, so I'm here with another WFA -er, um, who's absolutely been crushing it the last like year and a bit. Um, I'm going to let him tell you a bit about that himself. Um, but for now, uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Chad Elizondo. I've uh, been in the WFA program for a little bit over a year now. And yeah, things are going good, man. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, Chad, Chad's an absolute rock star. I'm going to say that right now, right off the bat. Dude's an absolute beast. Um, and so why don't you tell us a bit about it? Because it's been, it's been a while. So I'd, you know, it's totally fine if you're a little bit fuzzy on it. But why don't you tell me a bit about how you came across WFA uh, and Christian in general? Um, I kind of like got the idea. I can't remember where I saw the idea of digital marketing. Um, I kind of had my own little like consulting business when it came to it. Um, mm -hmm. just doing like social media management. Um, but I knew it was out there and I think I just started searching that kind of stuff. And of course, when you start searching, um, it's probably how Christian's ad popped up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just kind of went through it, watched the webinar and I just said, you know what, let's go for it. Awesome. Awesome. And so, uh, it sounds like you had a bit of a background in social media marketing and marketing in general beforehand, right? Uh, just a little bit. We used to like do a lot of like, um, just like page management, uh, management and doing websites and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay. Awesome. So when you dove in, like, what was your process going through it? Was it just dive through everything, understand what the model is like, and then just attack where, where you wanted to fill in the gaps or like, how did you approach getting through the program when you do when you dove in? Um, I pretty much just dove in like as fast as I could. Um, I know it kind of structures it out over like maybe six weeks or whatever, but I think I was mm -hmm. done in like three. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. so I was just excited to learn more and uh, see what I could do. Nice. And, uh, I mean, so you've obviously, you've, you've had some awesome successes and you have a bunch of, bunch of clients that you're rolling right now. Um, in getting to, from where you were at to now where you are, how would you say you found the support and the training and everything in, in assisting you to get there? Um, it was amazing. Uh, it's really what kind of catapulted me from one point to the other. Um, I don't think without the support of you and Christian um, and the whole group um, and, a, and even the WFA lab group now, uh, I'd be where I am today. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, cool. So, I don't want to keep foreshadowing it, but uh, why don't you tell us a bit about some of the successes you had? Because they're like almost every time. And so to give folks a background, we're going through a sales challenge right now. And uh, was it like maybe three days in, Chad comes in and pops in like one of the biggest, <laughs> just like, oh yeah, I just closed the, all these deals uh, in no time. And then every, every couple of days you're dropping more. So why don't you tell us a bit of, a bit about where you're at? You don't need to go super in depth, but tell us a bit about where you're at and how many clients you're bringing through and everything. And some of you know the successes you've, you've had, because they're absolutely phenomenal and super inspiring stuff. Um, yeah. I mean, we're in a good position now. Um, now it's just about kind of like reinvesting back into the business and seeing how big and um, how big we can grow and starting to build that team now. Um, but it wasn't always like that. <laughs> so <laughs> I think that probably took off maybe about six months ago or so, um, mm -hmm. kind of working with you hand in hand, uh, really going through like the 14 day challenge first. Um, uh, organic prospecting is really kind of like what catapulted us. And now we have, you know, the ability to do more. That's awesome. And so now you have, you have a team now. So I know you have a sales guy. Do you have, do you have a, a, a like a management team and everything as well right now? Or how, how is your structure? If, if you yeah. want to reveal that, I'm not going to, I don't want to pry where I shouldn't, but <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I have multiple niches. Um, but when it comes to the solar industry, I actually partnered up with somebody. Um, so awesome. we're really going heavy into that niche. Um, and so, yeah, he does all the sales calls. I pretty much do all the back end work. And then nice. we have one girl that kind of just does like all the minuscule stuff, like day to day things, kind of contacting the customers, sending out proposals and stuff like that. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's good. So now you're starting to scale up. That's exactly where everybody needs to be. <laughs> but, um, uh, so I guess one thing I always like to ask, especially cause now you're building a team and all, and obviously though that comes with its own set of challenges, but in from, from when you started, you already had a bit of a background in social media management for pages, then getting into the idea of, okay, let's run ads for clients as well 
in that particular process, let's start you know, with that process of moving from page management to managing ad, ad clients, what would you say was one of your biggest challenges in getting past that and getting up and rolling with, I mean, now you have a team and all, but getting those first few clients in, what were some of your biggest challenges in getting through there that you know, you'd say were the biggest ones that stood out? Um, when it came to actually like running ads, I would say the biggest challenge was actually just like probably just closing people. Um, the phone game is another beast in itself. So really just practicing and practicing um, and knowing where my strengths are. And that's kind of why I teamed up with somebody else because I think his strengths is better than mine there. And so um, just outsourcing to do the best thing for the company. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And that's a huge, a huge thing. And I, I, I know people love to be, love the idea of I, I can learn to do anything and I'll spend the time and learn to do everything. But realistically, when you get to a certain point, if you don't know that you suck at something <laughs> um, or, or you can't think of something you suck at, chances are you are doing something you still suck at. Yeah. Um, and if you don't outsource or you don't partner, or fill that gap, you're always going to have an issue. Um, and I guess at, like, at what point did you kind of, did you kind of say like, Hey, I could keep doing sales, but someone probably could do it better than me. And let me just work on the stuff that I'm really good at. Um, I mean, I was doing okay. Um, I knew my close rate could be better though. I mean, I think it was like maybe one in 10. Mm -hmm. um, so like the first five months, the agency was kind of growing slow. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, with a couple clients in, you know, get, get the capital. And so I started posting stuff about trying to find people and seeing mm -hmm. how we can add to the team because I knew that area needed work. Makes sense. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. And I mean, biggest thing is if you're not trying to figure out where you're good at, like what you're good at and what you're not good at, I mean, you're always going to be left behind by pretty much anybody that takes the approach and says like, Hey, I'm bad at this. Let me figure out how to fill it. Um, yeah. so that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, and so, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to ask you the same question I usually ask about, you know, what if you had to start from scratch and, uh, you know, what, it, like, what would you give as advice? Because, I mean, that's, that's great and all. We've had lots of folks answer that and they all have, they all kind of say the same thing. It's about action and otherwise. Yeah. Um, but now you're at the point where you're building a team and what would you say is the biggest piece of advice you could give to someone who's already got that point where they have a few clients in, they're building their agency, but they want to scale it. What would you say is, is the biggest piece of advice you could give them whether it is, you know, I mean, obviously we, we kind of stumbled across the idea of just understanding where you're bad at versus where you're, where you're really good. Yeah. But what else, what other advice would you give? Um, it kind of goes back to the same thing almost. Like, I mean, <laughs> you say you don't want to talk about it, but it's just like, um, just taking that action. Um, mm -hmm. I knew, you know, where the holes were and yeah. went out and filled them. So yeah, it's kind yeah. of that same answer. I mean, yeah, I, I, I kind of <laughs> expected it's going to be the same across. And I know there, there's folks, there's definitely folks that are listening that are kind of just like a trial client in and they're going to be like, no, 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 there's, there's a secret sauce. There isn't it's action and it's, it's knowing where you're good versus where you're not and just dialing into where you're good. Yeah. And that's, that's 90% of it. As long as you're taking action and you're, leveraging, you know, the skills you have or the, you know, the God given assets you have, if you're really good at, at sales, I mean, you know, you're good at sales, sell yeah. partner with someone to do the, the other side. If you're not, um, I mean, I, I love to refer back to me. I'm a hyper introvert. Like I work from home now. I don't leave my house for days at a time because I just, I, I still not super comfortable interacting with people other than <laughs> like this, for some reason I can jump on a call like this. I'm super at, I love it. Um, in person, I'm completely night and day and I know that. So my first thing, kind of exactly yeah. what you did, I found a sales partner and that was the way that allowed me to, to start scaling. And it's phenomenal that you came, you came across the same thing. Um, yeah. But one thing I do want to call out uh, just before we, we kind of fizzle out here is um, Facebook organic. You talked about a bit there. So yeah. compared to all the other channels that you're prospecting on, I mean, now it's a little bit different than it was when you were starting, but what would you say was the most significant channel in your prospecting as you got going and got to your first few clients? 
And now that you have clients and now you're able to reinvest in the business, if you choose to, mm -hmm. what would you say are your biggest channels to keep things going? I'd still say that Facebook organic is probably number one for us. Um, That's we awesome. generate way more leads on paid ads. Mm -hmm. um, but when it comes down to like quality and like how many we close out of the number coming in, um, yeah. those people already know you and they're already kind of, you're friends with them. They're invested. They're asking questions. Um, so we found that like those guys are just way easier um, to close a deal with. Yeah. So it's still probably number one. Yeah. And I mean, for, for those of you that are either new to Facebook organic or not quite sure what to do, uh, Chad is, is a beast at the Facebook <laughs> organic game. I, I dare say he's way better than I am. Um, in terms of, in terms of the offers and everything, they're phenomenal. Um, so the perfect example there, I say of what Facebook organic should look like. Um, and obviously there's Appreciate a reason that. why you've scaled based on that. Um, so that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, I, I don't want to take up too much more of your time, but, uh, if someone does want to work with you and I'm not going to say get in touch, don't get in touch and ask questions and Chat, he's a busy guy. He's building his agency. Don't waste his time. Because <laughs> um, I'll say it if no one else will. Don't waste his time. But if you do want to work yeah. with him, um, and I think you also offer white label as well. Yes, we do. So if you do want to white label him um, and basically have, have his team fulfill on, uh, on your clients, what would be the best way for them to get in touch for that specific purpose and only do it for that specific purpose for those watching? Don't, don't waste his time. <laughs> yeah, if it's absolutely for that, um, my calendar is on my Facebook page. Um, if you guys want, you can even drop it out after this video um, yeah. if they're interested in that. So yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, for sure. On the YouTube video, I'll, I'll link it or I'll, I'll link to your Facebook profile. Cause I mean, you have it optimized as a funnel anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it makes sense. Um, but otherwise I, I want to thank you for taking the time because it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, just to, I mean, it's, it's always awesome to see the growth that you've had over the last like year and a bit. Um, we've been able to work together for a good, like six months now and it's, it's phenomenal night and day from where you're at, which is absolutely epic. Yeah. Um, any, anything you want to leave with and I'll leave it open ended for you. <laughs> if there is anything you want to leave with. Yeah. I mean, um, I was skeptical just like everybody else coming through the program. So, I mean, if you guys are on the fence, um, I think it's a, I mean, at the time it was a big investment, but it really is a small investment to what you could be um, earning at the end of the day. So, mm -hmm. and in addition to that, I just want to tell um, all of you guys here at WFA, like, thank you for everything that you do. Um, I appreciate all of it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. I relay the same sentiment. It's been absolutely epic seeing you grow. Um, but otherwise, uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, been absolutely phenomenal. I hope, some of those folks that have their first couple of clients and are now at the point of looking at, at what scale looks like, or even those that are just getting started. Um, now you see how powerful Facebook organic is, but also yes. uh, just, you know, how you can scale it up. And I mean, in a pretty quick amount of time, I mean, we're talking about less than a year here yeah. to scale to having a team, which is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. So th thanks again for taking the time and, uh, and sharing with us, uh, you know, your journey here. Yeah, of course. Thank you.